In this video, we're gonna be making that epic trap brass sound that we hear, those really big punchy horns that come in through the mix. Let's check out the preset in Ableton Live and we're gonna make it from scratch using the wave table. All right, here we are in Ableton Live and let's hear it in context with some beats and some other sounds going on. And let's just hear it by itself. This is an awesome hard hitting horn sound that we can get for our trap music or whatever. So here we are in Ableton Live's wavetable. Got a few things going on here with the different oscillators as well as the MIDI matrix. I'm gonna be going over this and building it from scratch. So to start, I'm gonna turn off these effects. I'll turn them on later. And I'm just gonna delete this and drop in this wavetable. Now, if you want to grab the preset for a buck, you don't want to know how to do it, just go ahead and follow the link in the description. You can grab it, but I'm going to build this from scratch to hopefully teach you some things as well as build this sound. You can follow along and make it at home. So here we are. What I like to start off with is the oscillators by making a sound there that I really like and then building it in with filters and so on. So on oscillator one, I'm going to set it to instruments over to trombone. Makes sense, right? So let's just hear that. All right, so not quite what we're going for, but it's gonna start coming together in a second. Next up, we're gonna have oscillator two. Gonna turn that on, to on basics, and let's go with pulse dual. So, bam. And I went down an octave on my keyboard just to make it sound a little bit better. Great. Now I'm gonna turn on the sub. That'll be our third oscillator. I'm gonna turn that all the way up. So we want it to come through nice and clear and around 60%. There we go. And I'm also gonna bring down the semitone by 12. So that's the start. Next thing I wanna do is play with the amp a little bit and start putting on some of these uh, matrix uh, modulations so we can start building the sound. So with this amp, I'm gonna want it pretty much close to the default except for I want it to come on as quick as possible to make it punchy. My delay, around 600 millisecond works. My sustain, I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit more, a little under seven, negative seven. And then my release, a little bit longer, about one second. Great, now what we really need is that an EQ to get out all those top harmonics as the sound continues on, because we want that punch at the beginning, but we don't need it to keep going to sound like a regular synth as it goes. So to start, I'm gonna set up my envelopes and then map them in the matrix. Oh, these are the things that are going to affect certain parameters over here in the matrix. But right now, I'm just going to set it up with a little bit of a curve up here. That's great. We're going to get this decay down to about, yeah, 79. Our sustain doesn't really matter. Our release doesn't really matter as well because we're going to just get this little punch and go down. I'm going to map this to some frequency stuff and other things. And then let's look at envelope three. I want another just punchy envelope to play with. So I can map it to things. The only thing is I'm gonna put the decay around 562, perfect. Cool, so now let's look at our matrix. All right, first thing we wanna do is oscillator one pitch. So I'm gonna to go to oscillator one. I'm gonna just click here for the semitone. And then this pitch, I'm gonna go up to, up on the envelope 24. That's a good start. Now with my oscillator two pitch, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click this. Only thing is I'm gonna put this to negative 15. So you're starting to hear that hard punch at the beginning, which is perfect, that's what we want. Oscillator one gain, that is this right here, which is how loud it's gonna be. We're going to map that over into the envelope three. I'm gonna go with 48. So basically, let's just turn this one off. 
we want it to fall us envelope three by peaking with the sound and then slowly coming down to give it more of an attack. And to map other things here, I'm gonna go with the oscillator position, oscillator two position, I just click that. And then I'm gonna go over here and turn that up to around 40. So you'll see that it slightly moves. I just love adding that movement because it really takes advantage of what the wavetable synth does. I'm also gonna affect the subtone, do that to envelope three, because we just, if we look back at here, the envelope three has this nice spike. We just want that kind of movement to give it this punchy thing at the beginning. So, it's a little much, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Perfect. I also wanna affect my filter two frequency. So that would be right here. I haven't really mapped this to anything yet, but what I would gonna do, let's just set this up now. If I put one over here, but I'm gonna change the, the type of filter. So now we're taking out the low end that way. Give it a little bit of a resonance. And then on two, filter two, I'm gonna turn that on and I'm gonna change it to cut out the highs. And we're gonna put it around here. Great, the only thing I also wanna do is change the circuit type right here, and we're gonna boost that up quite a bit. Like always, I'm gonna turn down that volume, because if I boost the drive, it's gonna make the volume a lot louder. Great, filters are set up. The only thing is I want to move this filter so that it kinda of lets it come through here and then kinda of going like that, moving in. So I just click that. And on my filter frequency, I'm gonna put this up to 75. Nice, now you can hear that hard hit sound that I'm looking for. All right, and then next up, I'm just gonna change the last few parameters over here. I'm gonna put this into mono. I'm gonna put a slight glide, because sometimes there's a cool thing where I can go. It could be a cool effect if I want it. But generally, this type of sound is more of a stab, so. I just want it to come straight at you. Then I'm gonna change the unison to random note. It's gonna randomize some of the uh, oscillators. Each one of these voices is gonna kinda of like double, triple in this case, make six extra voices of these oscillators. And then it's gonna randomize how the detune of each one of those that is being added is. So it's gonna move them around a little bit, giving it a more unique sound. It's a subtle effect, but it really gives it life. Great, now let's hear this in context. This is really close. The last two effects that I had waiting is I have this metallic. Just, I'm trying to give it a little bit of a moving metal quality. We're doing this through the flanger and then I'll also turn on this reverb. Just gives it that big epic sound. Awesome, there we go. We made this preset from scratch using Ableton Live. Now if I wanted to, I'd probably group these together, group those tracks, bam. Then I'd probably rename this something like Epic Brass in the Face, whatever. And that way I have those effects mixed in with that. And then I can just save this as one thing in Ableton Live's presets and bam, I can drag it in my tracks and use them whenever I want. So there you go, that is making some epic brass sounds using Ableton's wavetable. If you want a sweet, simple, put together preset, grab it for a dollar. If not, build this from scratch, learn some things and make your own presets. So there you go, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're gonna have a lot more videos on making presets in wavetable. If things from future bass, I'm gonna get into future house, baseline synthesizers you name it bunch of presets coming your way so subscribe and more coming at you